Now it's very, very early in the morning. We had to have our cases ready to be collected from the bedroom at five past six this morning. And now it's about 10 to seven and we are just making our way to the coach. And the coach will be taking us to uh, the Northern Vancouver Railway Station. So you'll see that uh, Sally's there wearing a mask and most of the people are wearing masks. We're asked to wear them on the coach and on the train. But as you will see, it becomes more relaxed as the journey continues. So this is approaching, well, we're in the Vancouver station now. That is our train, the Rocky Mountaineer, in the background there. See the difference in the height of those carriages? The taller ones that you're looking at now, that's the gold leaf service, and the shorter ones were the silver leaf. Significant difference between those two levels of service, which I'll explain during the video. So here we are. So being greeted by the staff, which is really lovely. And we are on the third coach. In fact, it's the last coach, which is really fantastic because it means there is nothing obstructing the view looking to the rear of the train. And as you can see there, we've got a viewing platform, which is superb. So I will be spending some time there taking photographs and video. I'm already in there. Oh, you are. I'm in there. Keep it quiet. I don't want everybody else to As go. you'll see in a moment. Just be very careful on the side of the train. Yep. Please do not stick it on the outside of the train. The only bonus. He's telling me what I can and cannot do with my uh, video. With the stick, he doesn't want it going outside the sides or the back of the train. Which I wouldn't dream of doing, of course. So we climb up the steps to come on, and the lower level, where Sally just comes on through the last step at the moment, the lower level is the dining car. And then the higher level, under the dome roof, is where we are seated for the journey. So what you can see ahead is the dining car. Now you don't have that on Silver Leaf. You eat and travel on the same level. With the Gold Leaf, you've got the upstairs with this fantastic dome. So your views are absolutely superb throughout the entire journey. It's working the opposite way to what I thought it would. So it's a very good view, isn't it? Now we haven't done this particular route before from Vancouver to Whistler and the train is moving very slowly for the entire journey in fact because it's only a few hours so they're not in a rush whereas tomorrow I think it'll be very different it's a long train journey to Quenel. Just look at those views so we've got the water to the left hand side well now it's on the right but as we were looking forward the water on the left we're following the coastal route uh, all the way through to Whistler so you'll have woodland on the right hand side and the coast on the left for the majority beautiful properties that we're looking at as we're going through here so what they do on the Rocky Mountaineer and remembering this is very very early in the morning you can see the seats in front are empty. They've all gone down to breakfast. So there's two sittings, the front part, they've gone down to breakfast downstairs in the dining car. And we are given refreshments, uh, which was a lovely pastry and cinnamon, uh, cinnamon butter type spread to put onto it. and coffee and tea, of course.
Just look at those views. I mean, what an appropriate song to have to show you my world. Well, of course, it's not my world, it's our world, part of our wonderful universe that we are living in, and you just cannot help to uh, recognize that there is something far greater than you and me and human beings to create something as beautiful as what we're looking at. Um, tell you when I'm standing on the back at the viewing platform and I'm pointing out did you notice I was pointing out to the folk there was a beaver swimming in the sea and I just yeah you know, I noticed those things really quickly uh, but yeah when I'm standing on the back here and often when I'm just on my own it would not be unusual to hear me singing very quietly how great thou art because this is one of the occasions when I really do recognize the power of our magnificent creator. populated places for eagle so we'll try and keep an eye out for you and if anyone spots one we can just yell eagle and they tend to sometimes get pretty close and they're beautiful majestic birds so we'll just keep an eye out for those <laughs>
our time to go downstairs to the dining car for our breakfast and when you see the dining car itself beautifully laid out and the food is of exceptional standard and quality so you asked if you'd like to share a table and of course oh, no, we do two more people there. could be two more I thought you'd to face that way. No, it's okay. <laughs> so the starter was a fruit smoothie, which was banana and strawberry and yogurt, and it really was very, very tasty indeed. On video. Don't knock the glass over, <laughs> And we had a cooked breakfast, which was a lovely uh, soft egg, and the sausages had apple in there I believe if my memory serves me correct and potatoes and bread with uh, I think it was artichoke and avocado, avocado not artichoke avocado uh, lovely lovely breakfast and our dining companion another David he had a parfait which was granola with fruit and it looked very good We are approaching Whistler, 
around the temperature as we've been climbing the mountains uh, you can feel the temperature re you know, dropping all the time uh, but it's what you would expect isn't it so this is why you take layers with you on a journey like this and we're only literally minutes away from Whistler station There is a train at the station. I thought I'd put that picture up just to show my blood sugar readings. Very impressed considering what I've been eating and drinking on the train. Um, yeah, so that's a British reading which is different to the American and Canadian readings, but my blood sugar is really, really well under control. Now we've already checked into our bedroom at the Fermont Chateau Hotel in Whistler and thought time just to pop out and have a little snack for lunch. This was our dining companions on the uh, on the train, the Rocky Mountaineer, and they've just had a bite to eat as well. So the question is finding something that suits our palate and of course it won't take long to do that, will it? Please. Certainly. Did you want inside or outside today? Oh, inside. Inside? inside? Yeah. All right. Let's find somewhere for you guys to sit. Did you want to be by the pool or did you want one of the high tops here? When we used to live in Florida, one of our favorite starters was a spinach artichoke dip and this was on the menu in this little place so we had that and some roasted mushroom soup which was absolutely fantastic so a lovely lovely uh, little snack for lunch I don't know whether we're going to be eating tonight or not because my stomach it's been a couple of hours since we've eaten still feels nicely full I've forgotten this stuff, uh, you know. Bloody gorgeous, isn't it? I'll have to get a, <laughs> find a, men, a recipe for this. So there you go. Any of you Americans, uh, if you've got the recipe for the uh, spinach artichoke dip, we would love to receive it, please. <laughs>